today we're gonna check out how to make dithered effect in high resolution here in Photoshop. I'm gonna roll with this image as a reference. If you wanna test out the same image, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can download it. Okay, so the first step, we're gonna to need to resize this. So let's go to the image, image size, and I'm gonna decrease the width to 300. Click OK. And as you can see, this is the maximum size of the image. If you zoom in, it is going to show up as pixelated. So from here, we're gonna to go to the file, export, and click on save for web legacy. I gotta go and zoom in on this image. And here on the right menu, make sure that you're on GIF, or in other words, GIF. And then you got this drop down menu where you can select your dithering effect. So you get like no dithering, which is gonna be like pure anti aliasing. And then you got the fusion, you got this pixelated dithering. The pattern basically is the cross dithering. And not but least, you got the noise. But the noise looks kind of destroyed, so I'm gonna switch it to diffusion again. We also got the presets. You can test out with 128 dithered. As you can see, it smoothens out. Now I'm gonna go down to 64 dithered. But in our case, we're gonna to go to the colors and decrease it to eight. So we're gonna lose quite a bit of information. And here I also gonna customize it. I'm gonna go and reduce the color manually to seven. Now here's the most important factor. If you wanna increase or decrease the size of the pixels, all you need to do is go to the width or the height of the image. And for example, if you wanna increase the size of the pixels, all you need to do is go down from 300, let's say on 200, and I'm gonna click on here and check this out. The pixels are looking bigger and the whole image got changed. I'm also gonna go and try it out with 130 just for the reference and check this out. Now if you're gonna go up all the way, for example, on 500, now you got even more details and the pixels are way smaller. So you can experiment and see what you like most. Now you also can customize some of these colors. You can go to the colors, for example, I'm gonna customize the green and I'm gonna double click on it and here I can make it more vibrant a little bit click OK, and it's going to update the green. From here, we're gonna go and click on Save. Let's save the image as a GIF, click on Save. Okay, so after exporting it, if you zoom in, you can see the quality is kinda of bad. So I'm gonna drag and drop the image back to Photoshop. Let's go to the image, image size, and now I'm gonna go and increase the size and go to Resemble and make sure to select Nearest Neighbor Hard Edges. Click OK, and here you can see the image upscaled on high resolution. And this was it, thanks for watching.